get our spawner here. And this time around, with a new one in here, we're going to do the timer. And the spawn timer on this one, there is a uh, delay that happens on this. This is going to be the delay that happens before it shows. So as a for instance here, let's just say it's going to take, we'll do a kind of a change. We'll say it's going to take anywhere from two seconds to five seconds before the next one shows up. All right. And then the uh, current option, let's see, we need to put an object in there as well. Um, we'll have our spawner at start. Um, and then we'll do a, uh, a mode type. We'll say it's going to be the inside area. We'll just spawn it once uh, on the one that we have. Um, we're not actually going to read, we're going to stop it. We'll just have it just kind of spew out a set of uh, uh, spawn items. So we'll go ahead and just do this set to about 20. And then the range, let's change to full screen. All right. And then we need to grab an object that we're going to spawn. So how about we take take the, uh, the life object here. And we'll spawn this one. So with the timer going, um, we have everything set up correctly. What we'll notice is that the timer should just kind of start um, anywhere between two to five seconds. We'll just start to get them appearing. There we go. So just kind of a random fill to it. It's going to come up and it's not a, because you know, you could vary it even more than that. You could do like zero to uh, 200, 300, um, uh, I guess it'd be 30 seconds. Um, and that would allow you to really feel like it just comes up occasionally. All right, so there we go. That's going to allow you to have that randomness to it based on the time. So just remember um, when using the time, just make sure you have it enabled. If you don't have it enabled, uh, you can set the variables, but then through the event trigger, you can also enable it at a certain point and have the uh, use of it that way too.